The 10 creepiest and darkest theories about Toy Story that will completely ruin your childhood. One of the saddest theories in the whole Toy Story universe is the one about Sidney Sid Phillips. The evil boy who terrorized his toys and tortured them without any scruples. Sid was indeed the main antagonist of the first part of the Toy Story saga. And he was presented under the features of a young 11-year-old Brad with a very sickly look. His favorite pastime was to conduct terrifying experiments on his toys and those of his little sister, without knowing that they were actually alive. The theory developed here is that Sid is not really a bad guy, but rather a victim of child abuse who was withdrawn into himself because of the fear of his alcoholic father. The young boy would be literally traumatized by what he would experience as parental violence, that he would just carry over what he was living on his toys, which in psychology is quite normal for a young child of his age. This which would thus explain, according to them, Sid's bad behavior towards his toys. Throughout the film, we can see details that can tell us a lot. Like for example, in the scene where the family doc, Scud, did not want to wake him up. Or during a scene where we see a whole bunch of empty beer cans lying around his chair. This would explain why the toys are hiding in the darkness of the room. Because in truth, this is exactly what the young boy will do when he hears his father's footsteps coming towards him. Here is now one of the most far-fetched theories of the Toy Story saga. And although it is totally crazy, some fans find it quite probable. This theory would indeed say that Toy Story and the American Zombie series, The Walking Dead, would share almost the same plot, as well as the same characters. Although there is no logical basis on which the defenders of this thesis could rely on, they still manage to create a small photo montage, rather striking of resemblance. We let you appreciate with your own eyes this clever work of superimposition of images from Toy Story movies and the post-apocalyptic series. Seen in this way, indeed, it would be really hard to believe in a simple coincidence, which is, however, obviously the case. Apart from striking resemblance between Woody and the character of Rick Grimes, who, by the way, are both sheriffs, there are also other very strange similarities in the plots. The internet user behind this theory revealed the surprising analogy between the evil teddy bear Lotso and the governor of the zombie series. In Toy Story 3, Lotso was the main antagonist, just as the governor was in the third season of the American series. Both characters were benevolent and friendly, both taking in refugees in their respective domains. The Sunnyside Day Care Center for the Teddy Bear and the small walled town of Woodbury for the governor. However, Toy Story viewers will find out later in the film that Lotso's true nature was sadistic and tyrannical and that he ran his toy daycare with an iron fist. Just like the governor of The Walking Dead, who will prove to be a real despot, extremely violent and Machiavellian. Of all the most unusual theories that revolve around the Toy Story film saga, the one that toys are immortal is certainly the most popular and the one that will have known the most resounding. Indeed, the main characters of the animated features, such as Woody and Jesse, are very old toys, since it is proven in the film that they are at least several decades old. Moreover, toys can also be restored by humans, which considerably extends their lifespan, making them almost eternal. But the theory goes even further, claiming that toys are in fact immortal vampires, feeding on the happiness of children to stay alive. This terrible postulate could explain the fact that the toys of Toy Story fear above all to be forsaken by their owners and not to be loved by them. For by being deprived of the love and attention of children, toys wither and eventually die out. And as children tend to grow up and eventually abandon their beloved toys for more elaborate games, the latter must thus adapt by seeking other children who would love them in turn and so on. 
Anyone who saw the first Toy Story knows that Sid was a sadistic little torturer who loved to conduct terrifying experiments on his toys. But it turns out later in the film that Sid wasn't really aware that the toys were alive, so he can't really be considered a villain. The young boy promises never to hurt another toy in his life when the toys attack him. And he finally understands that they are animated. No one knows if Sid really kept his word because his character was no longer represented in the saga, but some hawk-eyed spectators have nevertheless revealed a rather disturbing detail. They noticed that the garbage man who appears in the scene of Toy Story 3 was wearing the same black t-shirt with skull and crossbones as Sid in Toy Story 1. Could it be a subtle wink from the directors or simply a coincidence? You can judge and tell us what you think in the comments. Fans of the Toy Story franchise are never shy about theorizing about this fabulous saga of animated films. And while some of their ideas are pretty well thought out, others are just a bunch of nonsense. The rather far-fetched theory of an internet user would indeed, like the third opus of the saga, the movie Toy Story 3, would have in fact Marxist tendencies. According to this fan with an overflowing imagination, Andy comes from a rich and middle-class family which makes him benefit from a higher education. The young boy is also obsessed with his belongings, so much so that he sticks his name on his possessions, which would reflect a serious sense of materialism latent in the character. The childish and joyful universe of Toy Story risks to take a bad blow with a theory proposed by some fans, eager to ruin one of the most beautiful movies of our childhood. This sad theory would indeed like the film to take place during the divorce of Andy's parents, and the arguments to support it are not lacking indeed. An unmistakable proof is that we never see Andy's father in the movies. And even 15 years after the first opus, in Toy Story 3, he is still as invisible and it is the mother of the young boy who takes care of them all alone. Another argument in favor of this theory is the move which was the central event of the first film and which would be due in fact to the divorce of Andy's parents. Andy is also portrayed as a rather lonely and taciturn young man, which is in fact only the consequence of the heartbreaking separation of his parents and his family home. Here's another surprising theory from the Toy Story universe, and one that has been proposed by internet users who certainly have an eye for detail. According to them, Andy's mother is none other than Emily, Jesse's former owner. This theory, which seems rather far-fetched, is however not as far-fetched as it seems. The proof that would support it lies in the cowboy hat that Andy wears on the movie. If you look at it very carefully, you will see that it is the same hat that Jesse is wearing. In another scene, the same hat can be seen on the bed in Emily's room, when she was a young girl. This would imply that Jesse belonged to Emily and that she abandoned him when she grew up, exactly like what will happen to Woody with a young boy. Toy Story would therefore be a kind of time loop, where the toys have to relive the same events each time, but with different children, as they grow up and have children of their own. One of the biggest mysteries of the Toy Story saga concerns Andy's father, because even though he is a central character in the Toy Story, he never appeared in any of the films. This has given rise to the craziest theories from fans as to what the story is about and who Andy's father is. But a thesis recently developed by a longtime friend of one of the film's writers could finally reveal who is behind this enigmatic character. The latter would never have appeared in any of the films simply because he died a long time ago of poliomyelitis. Andy's father would be named Andy himself, which would be clearly proven by the typography of the names on the soles of Woody's and Buzz's feet, which are very different from each other. Another detail appears in one of the scenes of the film where we can see portraits hanging on the wall of the stairs with a young boy wearing glasses. As we all know, Andy does not wear glasses, which can only imply that this portrait is that of his late father when he was his age. 
The theory, already very dark and sad, goes even further in the sordid, by affirming indeed that it is because of the poliomyelitis that the father of Andy would have died. During the great epidemics, it was customary to burn all the possessions of the sick in order to prevent the spread of this terrible disease. Woody would be the only remnant of Andy's father's belongings and would have miraculously escaped the pyre to become his son's favorite toy. The craziest and most abracadabric theories are often the lot of the great cinematographic productions. And the Toy Story saga is not exempt from it, as you could see in this video. One of the most convoluted theories of this childish universe concerns the identity of Lotso, the old pink teddy bear who plays the role of the villain in the film. According to some fans with a rather whimsical imagination, Lotso would actually represent Woody's dark side. The two characters of the franchise both have the same narrative arc, as they are both toys who are very attached to their respective owners and who both face the fear of being abandoned by them. The only difference between them is the choice of whether or not go to the dark side of jealousy and resentment. So, when Woody saw Buzz Lightyear take his place as Andy's favorite toy, he did not succumb to jealousy but rather chose the option of friendship and sharing. Unlike Lotso, who went completely crazy and violent when he realized that his former owner had replaced him with another teddy bear. And as always on your favorite YouTube channel, we have saved the best for last, with this most surprising theory concerning once again Andy's father. This enigmatic character has never ceased to raise questions from fans of the animated saga and has given rise to the wildest theories. A great majority of fans supposed that Woody belonged to Andy's father originally and that as toys are almost immortal, he would have finally landed at his son's home, becoming his favorite toy. As we have seen together since the beginning of this video, the toys of Toy Story seem to live perpetually in a kind of time loop that repeats itself endlessly and where only the children finally change as they grow up over time. The cycle will repeat itself indefinitely for Woody as well as for Jesse, and by extension for all the toys in Toy Story, which will be passed on from father to son, from a child who has grown up and become an adult, to a child who is still old enough to own toys. Now, tell us in the comments what you think of these 10 super creepy and gloomy theories of the universe yet so fascinating and childish of Toy Story. Don't forget to subscribe and click here to watch another of our videos.